Hi there, it's Lisa once again from lisamw.com. Hello, how are you? It's been a heavy couple of days energetically, hasn't it? Yesterday was the um, hearing in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee of Dr. Ford and also of um, Judge Kavanaugh. Um, and the whole day I was just feeling so heavy and I had a headache and the energy was, ugh, it was awful. It was really, really awful. Um, and one of the things, I, I think I mentioned this in the Donald Trump, um, is Donald Trump a spiritual teacher uh, video, um, was that when there is some energy that is kind of not global per se, but larger than myself, I'll say it that way, so outside me, um, when there is something that's really big, I can feel the energy. I don't always know what it means uh, at that moment, but I can feel the energy. And so um, that happened right before Prince died, not like that was a global catastrophe, but it was to a lot of us, um, that I could feel a wave of sadness two days before he died. And I didn't know at the time what was going on, I just knew it wasn't mine. So I have been feeling, like yesterday was really heavy, and I just, whew, it was a tough day. And today, I feel much lighter. And so it's kind of like, all right, what's that energy about? What's going on there? And my sense about what is coming through is that, um, you know, there's been and continues to be and will happen even more, a rising of the divine feminine. Women finding their voice and finding their power. Um, and I feel like, the those white men who are part of the patriarchy um, and who have existed within that structure all their lives have no idea what is fomenting what is going on and maybe it's because i'm a female i don't know or because i pay attention but there's a lot of stirring going on and I think as these men continue down their path in the face of just those accusations and blatant lying under oath, as these men continue down their path, they're going to be um, hit in the head with um, what really has been going on energetically. And what has been going on is that women are like not having this anymore. They're just not having it any anymore. And you know, if you're paying attention, you can see that coming. A lot of other um, intuitive teachers have um, been talking about that. A lot, like a lot, have been talking about that. And so one of the things that's been interesting for me is that I have a very strangely hopeful feeling. And that kind of is different than the feeling I had two weeks before the election when I felt that energy of, oh, Hillary is not going to get in. She's not going to get in. And it was so sad. And this is more like women will speak and we will be heard. And there's like a piece of me that in the face of, oh, this senator voted this way and they're going to send it on to the Senate committee, there's a part of me that knows that no matter what happens from this event, the energy has shifted. The energy has completely shifted in that women are not going to allow this. And, and I feel very hopeful. I believe it, it is truly my sole belief that Donald Trump was where he was supposed to be at the time he was supposed to be to bring about this change. He continues to activate women, um, not quite in the ways that he is doing consciously, but his energy is such that women are standing up and standing up. And you look at the record number of candidates that are running um, for Senate and Congress, um, the House of Representatives, um, in the November election. It's, huge, it's record numbers of women. Hallelujah, 
it's about time. But I, I sense that no matter how this turns out, no matter how it turns out, we cannot go back to that space. We will not go back to that space. And so today, after I processed the heaviness of yesterday, today I just feel like a very beautiful sense of lightness. And I see the women speaking out and I think, oh my God, these guys have no idea what is going to hit them, not just in November, but beyond that, they have no idea. They're stuck in their bubble of privilege. And so it's going to be interesting to watch women rise up in, in a very empowered way. I mean, I was listening to CNN, no, C-SPAN yesterday. I was watching it on C-SPAN. And in between the breaks, they had people calling in to the C-SPAN line talking. And these women were telling their stories of sexual assault on C-SPAN to this one guy. And I was like, wow, if you're willing to call in the C-SPAN to be heard with your story, you want someone to listen to you. You know, even if it's the guy who did a beautiful job, I have to say, he really validated and affirmed for people, for the women that called in. I, I thought he did a great job, but anyway, um, they want to be heard. They want to be acknowledged and no longer pushed aside. I have never understood, even as a child, I was like, women are more than half of the population now. Why are there only men? Why is there, why is there only men in the church, Catholic church? Why is there only men, well, not only men, but a preponderance of men, in our government. That is not proportionally right. And, and I never understood that, you know, I got older and I do a lot of reading on this. Um, I began to see the patterns and this is the patriarchy um, screaming and holding on to the clip because they know. And, and here's the thing um, I think about this is that the patriarchy and the patriarchal system has hurt them too. I mean, men are expected to be a certain way and, you know, be a good provider and be this and be that. And women are expected to, you know, they're gender conforming roles. And it's hurt them too. They just don't realize that. Some do, many do not. And so they see it as, oh my God, they're taking my power away from me, which is not at all what anyone's trying to do. And I'm pretty sure I came from another planet where on that planet, we were all equal. Because I never understood. Like, I wasn't even raised that way. I, like, what? What do you mean we're not equal? Like, this boggles my head. And I think, well, how, like, where did I come, where did that come from? Anyway, I digress. I have a sense of joy. Um, and I even said to myself, are you pretending? Is this fake? And I'm like, no, I know deep down joy. I know that this has been a shift. And bless Dr. Ford for coming forward, which took enormous courage, regardless of the outcome. I, I honor her spirit for being willing to do that at this crucial time. Look, I get a little teary eyed. I honor her spirit at this crucial time for speaking up. So that's my take on what's going on. I, I think um, a lot of those in power are going to be blindsided by what is coming. They would do well to pay attention and open their eyes, but I still don't think that that's going to save their seat in Congress. I don't, I don't think so. I think there's going to be a washing. What's that? Watershed. That's the word just came through. Watershed is a watershed moment. And we were here to experience it and we will be here to carry it forward. So if you're listening, that's kind of what I want to say to you. Like, pay attention to the energies and what can you do? What can you do to step in that flow? How do you speak your truth? How do you stand up? And I always say, it doesn't have to be anything. You don't have to get on stage or in front of Congress or whatever. Speaking your truth to yourself. That's where you start. Anyway, 
just a few thoughts from my head to yours. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would, I'd love to grow this channel. Please share this with your friends if you think it's been helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.